Hey everybody, Abby here. I am here to do the tutorial for this look. I was going to do a tutorial today and when I was thinking about it, what I wanted to do, a commercial came on for Rimmel Volume Accelerator Mascara and this what is kind of a look Zoe Deschanel was wearing in the commercial. Just some chartreuse in the inner corner and just kind of smoky outer corner. But it just kind of has like a gap here in the middle with just a neutral matte tone. So everything else I kept nude and neutral. So hope you enjoy if you want to see how I achieve this look. Okay hey everybody, um, so I have this first eye done. Um, and then the second eye, what I did here was I used Too Faced Shadow Insurance as a primer. Um, Painterly Paint Pot all over the lid and then some NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk in the inner corners and on my brow bone. Um, so just getting right into it, first shade I'm going to take is the Maybelline Single in Earthy Taupe. This is just matte, like beige, medium brown kind of color. And I'm, I'm just going to take this on my Sigma E25 and I'm just going to run this all over the lid into the crease except this inner portion where we put the milk. And you can take it up a little past the crease, just as kind of a transitional color. Then next I'm going to be taking Style Snob from MAC. This is a star flash. It's like a shimmery taupe. Just going to take a bit on that same brush. And I also put tape here because I want a straight edge and it'll help with blending everything. Put this on the outer third and blend it up into the crease. And again, stopping right before this um, white pencil in the crease, or yeah, the white. Um, <laughs> then I'm going to take a bit of copper plate, which is like a brown gray matte shade from MAC. And just, you just need a little bit of this on that same brush and kind of run it into the same place just to deepen up this outer area. Now just to get the outer corner smoky we're going to take typographic from MAC which is like an almost black matte on a Sigma E45 just a small taper blending brush. Just going to grab just a little bit of this and keep it on the outer corner here and blend it to just smoke this crease out. Now that we have the outer corner done, we are going to take this chartreuse shade, and this is Sharp from MAC. And I'm just going to take a very stiff pencil brush. I'm just going to load this on the brush, tap off the excess, and put it in the inner tear duct here. And kind of blend it up here. Fade it into the matte shade and also put it on the lower outer portion here. Now I've taken the tape off. I'm just going to kind of blend this edge here because there's just a very blunt <laughs> line here. I'm just going to just blend a little bit. Also blend this line out when we do our brow highlight. Um, so now the liner, I'm going to line my upper and lower rims with the Feline Cool Power Pencil from MAC. Okay, I'll do now that. for the shadow underneath, I just smudged the liner out just a little bit on the lower lash line. Um, first I'm going to take copper plate on a pencil brush. Smudge it on the lower lash line. All the way up to where the green stops. And kind of take it in this outer corner just to smoke it out a little bit. Then take a little bit of typographic just to deepen up the outer corner. Okay. 
Now for the upper lash line, I'm going to use my liquid liner from Physicians. Brow highlight will be my usual from the Vanity Palette, this matte. It's taking that on a flat shader brush and just working it along the brow bone and on this outer corner just to Okay, I put on my mascara. Um, I used the Rimmel Lash Accelerator and the Organic Wear from Physicians Formula. Then I filled in my brows with the Maybelline Master Shape um, in soft brown. Um, now for... I did my bronzer already when I did my face makeup. Now for blush, what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to use Georgia from... But it's my Real Techniques blush brush and just take a little bit here just a very subtle peachy shade I never really know what to wear with this kind of eye look but you can really take this in any direction you like now for highlight I'm going to use the MAC Pro Longwear Eyeshadow Jeez. <laughs> and Carefree and I'm just going to take a fluffy eye brush and just highlight cheekbones. This is my favorite face highlight lately. It's really pretty on the eyes too. Put some on my nose, chin, and Keep it for lips. I'm gonna use Maybelline's lipstick in beige bombshell. Just a nice need. Now for gloss, I'm gonna be using my recent um, favorite here lately, and it's the Pink Crystal Potion Plump Potion from Physicians Formula. Gives it just a nice sheen. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, and please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye, guys.